What is up everybody? This is your guy Kalai and welcome back to Budget Tubing. And the product I'm reviewing today is kind of funny. If you've been following this series for a while, you'll probably remember me joking once or twice about how I would love to see Five Below starting to carry microphone stands. And this whole time, under my nose, they've secretly been doing just that. Though they're not selling them under that name. Instead, what they're carrying is the adjustable smartphone stand by Prime Connect. Now, I'm going to admit, I've known about this product ever since it hit Five Below's shelves, mainly due to the fact that I obsessively check their inventory to see if there's any new review fodder thanks to how well these videos perform. But I was kind of wary about this one, mainly due to the fact that this stand is from Prime Connect. The same company that brought us the Pulse desktop microphone that I reviewed at the end of last year. You know, the pretty decent microphone that comes with a stand that despite looking like a standard mic clip screwed onto a base, is actually one large injection molded piece. And I was kind of afraid Prime Connect would be doing the exact same thing here. Fortunately, I came across a review by Ghostfighter2Ts that showed me my fears were unwarranted. And his video also showed me that there's actually two versions of this stand. But I'll talk more about that later. Before that, I want to go ahead and address one thing. And that's the fact that this is not going to be one of those videos where I repurpose something. Despite saying I'm going to be using an adjustable smartphone stand as a microphone stand. Instead, it was Prime Connect that did the switcheroo. If you search for an adjustable desktop microphone stand online, what you're going to end up finding is something like this. Look familiar? But those are going to cost you between $15 and $30, if not more, whereas this is just five bucks. Inside the box, you receive the base, the shaft, as well as the part that actually holds your smartphone. And before I go any further, I should probably point out that the stand I showed you earlier has a full metal construction, minus this little collar here, whereas the Prime Connect stand has a nearly full plastic construction, minus the hardware here, as well as a bit of cement in the base to add extra weight. And the way things go together is quite simple. All you need to do is screw the shaft into the base and then screw the smartphone holder onto the shaft. Also, if you loosen this little collar here, the stand extends all the way out to around 15 or so inches with a little bit extra when you adjust the position of the smartphone on the holder. And finally, if you want to change the orientation of your smartphone from landscape to portrait, all you have to do is loosen the connector on the back, give your phone a swivel, tighten the connector back up, and you're good to go. Earlier in the video, I talked about how there are two versions of the stand, and let me go ahead and show you what's been changed. Sadly, I don't have the original version of the stand on hand, but you can see some good shots of the original model in Ghostfighter 2T's video, which I'll be linking down in the description below. Now, the most superficial change between the two models is just the fact that Prime Connect's manufacturer decided they wanted to use a silver nut and bolt instead of the more traditional black nut and bolt. And while that doesn't really impact its performance, I do like the aesthetics of this more. It also seems to help a little bit with corrosion resistance because this nut on the flip side is a little rusty. Just want to go ahead and point that out. The second and, in my opinion, most significant change between these two models has to do with the threading on the shaft. As you can see, my model is threaded at 5 8 of an inch, 27 TPI, or threads per inch, whereas the model in Ghostfighter 2T's video is threaded at 3 8 of an inch, 16 TPI. And for those wondering where this came from, it's just part of one of my microphone stands. Of course, the cell phone holder included in both packages is threaded at 5 8 of an inch, so the original model came with a 5 8 to 3 8 adapter pre-threaded into the base of the smartphone holder, kinda like this. And for those of you wondering at home, no, the new shaft is not threaded at 3 8 of an inch with the 5 8 of an inch adapter already attached to it. Instead, it is permanently attached with this screw. Before recording this video, I did remove that screw just to see what was underneath. And while it does look like it has a 5 8 of an inch adapter on it, it does not have 3 8 of an inch threading beneath it. Instead, it is just a squared off portion. This change actually makes me kind of sad because it does remove a little bit of functionality from the stand since I won't be able to use it with anything that is threaded at 3 8 of an inch. 
but I understand why they made the change. First off, both models have a full plastic construction, and this section of 3 8 of an inch threading is a wonderful shear point. If you somehow manage to knock the stand over while it's in use, or you over tighten the adapter when attaching it, you have a very high chance of just snapping the threaded portion of the stand off. And while that does make for a horrible customer experience, I don't think that's the only nor the primary reason they changed it. I was going through the comments section on Ghost Fighter 2T's video and multiple people left a comment saying that they were missing the part that connects the smartphone holder to the stand, which would mean this piece right here. So it seems the manufacturer that Prime Connect was using didn't do the best job when it came to quality assurance. Prime Connect probably got fed up with it and went with a different manufacturer that was less likely to make that mistake due to the fact that it's an integral part as opposed to an adapter. Fortunately, the fact that this microphone stand eliminated the 3 8 of an inch connector is not that big of a deal. Mainly due to the fact that pretty much every microphone holder I own is threaded at 5 8 of an inch. Even this really nice hard mount that came with my Audio-Technica AT2020, and the same thing is true for most microphones that have their own integrated threading, like the Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti, Samson Meteor, so on and so forth. Because of that, most microphone holders will come with this little metal 3 8 of an inch to 5 8 of an inch adapter, and the same thing is included with most microphone stands that are threaded at 3 8 of an inch. The only thing that's really keeping you from using this as a microphone stand right out of the box is the fact that it includes a smartphone holder as opposed to a microphone holder. So you're going to have to provide your own microphone clip or your own shock mount. Fortunately, both of these things are actually quite cheap. You can pick them up for like $5 or so on Amazon, or in my case, I paid like a buck each on AliExpress. That being said, Five Below actually does have you covered in a way. Because their new USB microphone kit, it also comes with a tripod, shock mount, and pop filter, and the shock mount just so happens to be threaded at 5 eighths of an inch. So that means you can remove the tripod, grab your stand, and Bob's your uncle. And of course, I can't let the tripod and smartphone holder go to waste. That's definitely not a bad mic setup for just $15. There you have Five Below's secret microphone stand. And I honestly believe this is an amazing grab for $5. It's definitely going to be seeing a bit of use, especially since it's adjustable up to 15 inches and it allows me to get whatever microphone I have attached to it to the perfect height. The only thing better would be a boom arm because not only does that allow me to get the microphone to the perfect height, but it also allows me to position the microphone directly in front of me when I'm sitting at my desk, as opposed to me having to position myself in front of the microphone. I don't even mind the full plastic construction because it doesn't feel like it's going to crumble at the slightest touch. If there is one complaint I have, it's the same one Ghost Fighter 2T's had, and that's the fact that there is no kind of slip resistance on the base of this thing. And in his video, he talked about how you could use some drawer liner to add a non-slip surface to the base of this stand. And funnily enough, I actually have some on hand because I use this underneath the line mixer that I have multiple things plugged into on my desk. It has pads on the bottom, but they don't do the best job. And I think that pretty much covers it. If you want to get yourself one of these stands, I will warn you that as of the recording of this video, they are sold out on Five Below's website, but they haven't delisted them, so they might be getting them in stock. If you happen to have a Five Below location near you and it's anything like mine, they're going to have tons of these in stock and they might even have the white version of this, if that's more your style. Now, with all of that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and say, until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.